Hello everybody. We are at my outdoor workstation here. I really do actually work outside, cook outside, work outside, everything. So here you are in my sort of outdoor office out here on a beautiful September night. Let's do a voltage drop calculation. You've all been asking for one. You've all wanted the maximum conductor length type of calculation. So what is the maximum length of run between the load and distribution center of a 240 volt electric heating circuit in an installation using 14 to NMD 90 as a wiring method. The heating circuit is intended to carry 10 amps at 3% voltage drop. Assume 10% power factor. So we know a whole bunch of things in here. We know um, that we want to find out, we want to find out L equals um, max length of run in meters. That's what we want to find out. Uh, what do we know? Maximum length of run uh, for 240 volt, that's the source voltage. So I would say V source equals 240 volts. Okay, electric heating circuit, doesn't matter what kind of circuit, is an in an installation using 14.2. So I would say size equals 14 because I know that's going to be on table D3. NMD90, that tells us the temperature from that insulation. It means it can, that insulation can operate in 90 degrees Celsius environment. So we might as well take 90 and assume that it's going to be in the warmest environment. The heating circuit is intended to carry 10 amps. So the current, the load current is 10 amps at a 3% voltage drop. So, um, so percent drop equals 3%. All right, assume 100% power factor. Power factor equals 100%. We know that's in table D3 as well. All right, how am I going to approach this? I'm going to approach it like this. I may do a video of this. I just wrote it all out uh, for you separately in the video, but this is the same as the video. Basically, table D3, voltage drop calculations, basically equates to this equation. So here we go. I would say um, for voltage drop, for all voltage drop calculations, this is a relationship that, uh, that applies. 1000 voltage drop is equal to the K factor from table D3 times the D rating from uh, note three of table D3 times F which is the voltage drop factor from note two of table D3 times I, which is your load current, times L, which is your length that you're trying to solve for. Now, this is just a regular equation, but if we've been out of school for a while, we might forget how to solve regular equations. This is an equation that only has factors in it. Factors, not terms. Factors are things that are multiplied and divided. Terms are things that are added and subtract. So this is this is a term, this is a term, they are multiplied. Sorry, this is a factor, this is a factor, they're multiplied together. Factor, 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 all multiplied. So to isolate L length, then these are all multiplied by length. To get rid of them, I would have to divide this side by all of these things. I would also have to divide this side by all of those things because you can't do something to this side without doing it to the side, without saying we have equally done the same thing on either side. So let's go ahead and divide each side by all of these things to isolate L. I'm also going to flip L to the other side. So that is simply how we rearrange an equation for what we want to solve for. And what we want to solve for in this equation is L. So L is equal to 1000 times V drop over K times D rating of note three times F times I times L. Oops, not L because I have L on the other side now. All right, so that's my equation. Let's start subbing into it in order to solve for L then. 1000 is easy. It's already there. Voltage drop. Well, what is our voltage drop? Well, that's going to be the actual voltage that got dropped. It's going to be the 3% of 240 volts. If you want 
you can go from first principles and remember that the ratio of the voltage that got dropped to the source is equal to the percentage of drop over 100. Or, in other words, voltage drop is going to be equal to um, voltage source times percent drop. And I'm going to put that percent straight into a decimal form. And so the source voltage was 200 was 240 volts, then I'm going to say 240. Keep your units. Your units are what helps check your work times 3% in a decimal. So that is, I think that is 7.2 volts. All right. So 7.2 volts is my voltage drop. I'm going to step that in. I encourage you, I encourage everybody taking any of these tests to keep their units in engineering. If you keep your units, it really helps you um, uh, check your equation. And if you've done anything wrong, your units will kind of show that for you. So now we get this K value. The K value is very fun. It's in table D3 if it's a 75 degree installation. It's not, so I'm going to have to multiply by 1.05. But let's look at table D3 which I conveniently have in here for you. This is table D3, and my size is 14. So I'm going to look at this row. My power factor, I'm going to assume I'm working with copper. I don't know if it said that, but um, uh, copper. And my power factor is 100. So I'm going to steal 10.2 from there. So 10, K equals 10.2. And I know here that it's ohms per meter, and I think that's really important to keep that ohms per meter. So there we go. I'll sub that in 10.2 ohms per meter right into my equation there. Now I have to multiply by the T rating factor. Look at my handy dandy cheat sheet here, which I gave you in a video. I just made it look a little different. I made it look like this. So now we look at our handy D rating factor. A D rating factor is Note three of table D3 says that if it's in a 90 degree operating temperature, we should multiply by 1.05. So times 1.05 is our D rating factor. You know, that's unitless. I have, you know, I've, I've, I've looked it up and it is unitless. Now we're going to multiply F. Here's F. F is D3 note two. By the way, if you want to see these notes, I can show them to you here. Let's see. See? To determine the voltage drop for conductors having 90 degree operating temperature, multiply K value by 1.05. That's what we just did. And note two is this big table. The voltage drop factor F can be determined by this table. It's all two, except for two specific cases of three wire and four wire three phase AC. So F is going to be two from table, uh, from this table, which is called the voltage drop factor table of D3 note two. All right, so F equals two. By the way, that is, I happen to know, also unitless. And then we need to multiply by I. I is 10 amps. It was in the question. It was stated that it's a 10 amp application. Now, when I multiply 1000 by 7.2, I divide by 10.2 times 1.05 times two times 10. Then I actually get an answer of 33.61. And the units here are volts. I see the units of volts on the numerator, and I see the units of ohms per meter, ohms per meter times amps. Now, for those of you who are, are haven't done math in a while, you might forget that this is numerator, this is denominator, and this is the de denominator of the denominator, therefore it's also a numerator. It's a numerator of this entire fraction. So let's rewrite that with the meters in the numerator. So this is volts times meters over ohms times amps. Now we say, oh no, I want to solve for length because the question said, what is the maximum length? Uh, and that's what you wanted. You wanted a maximum length problem. Well, is this length? We have to remember what, what amps times ohms means. V equals IR is our basic ohms law. We should know. V is in volts equals I in amps times R 
in ohms. So if we look at those units, a volt is an amp times an ohm. An amp times an ohm is a volt. So let's rewrite that with, instead of amp ohms, we'll put volts in the denominator. And now we see we have volts times volts. I mean, volts over volts, which just cross out, which give me 33.61 three, meters. So the question was, what was the question? It was this one, I think. What is the maximum length of run between the load and the distribution center for a 240 volt uh, electric heating circuit in an installation using 14.2 NMD90 as the wiring method? The heating circuit carries 10 amps at a 3% voltage drop, assume 100% um, power factor. Then I just took this regular, this equation that is, I, I would say the D3 equation, which I've talked about in a couple of videos so far, and I would substitute in, I'd solve for L and I get 33.61 meters. So I hope that is a valuable example problem for you. Thanks for watching.